Operation Lüttich was a codename of a German counterattack during the Battle of Normandy, which took place in northern France in August 1944. The assault was ordered by Adolf Hitler to eliminate the gains made by the 1st United States Army during Operation Cobra, and by reaching the coast in the region, cut off the units of the 3rd United States Army. German commanders on the spot had warned Hitler in vain, there was little chance of the attack succeeding, and the concentration of their armored reserves at the western end of the front in Normandy soon led to a disaster. On the 2nd of August 1944, Hitler sent a directive to Generalfeldmarschall Günther von Kluge, the German supreme commander in the west, ordering an immediate counterattack. Kluge suggested that there was no chance of success and the German forces in Normandy should retire too, pivoting in the Indec defenses south of Cannes, but on the 4th of August Hitler categorically ordered the attack to be launched. He demanded that eight of the nine Panzer divisions in Normandy be used in the attack and that the Luftwaffe the German Air Force commit its entire reserve, including 1,000 fighters. Although ordered to wait until every tank, gun and plane was assembled, Kluge decided to attack as soon as possible before the overall situation deteriorated further. Instead of eight Panzer divisions, only four could be relieved from their defensive tasks and assembled in time. The 2nd Panzer Division, 116th Panzer Division, the 2nd SS Panzer Division and part of the 1st SS Panzer Division with a total of about 300 tanks. Kluge ordered the attack to be mounted on the night of the 6th and 7th of August. To avoid alerting American forces to the attack, there would be no preparatory artillery bombardment. The intention was to hit the US 30th Infantry Division east of Morton, then cut through the American defenses to reach the coast. Had surprise been achieved, the attack might well have succeeded, but Allied decoders had intercepted and decrypted the orders of the Operation Lüttich. The Germans achieved temporary surprise as the ultra documents had arrived to the US 1st Army headquarters too late to alert the troops to the immediate assault. They briefly captured Morton, but they were unable to breach the lines of the 30th Division as the 2nd Battalion of the 120th Infantry Regiment commanded Hill 314, a dominant feature around Morton. Although cut off, they were supplied by parachute drops. Of the 700 men who defended the position until the 12th of August, over 300 were killed and wounded. By noon of the 7th of August, the early morning fog had dispersed and a large number of Allied aircraft appeared over the battlefield. Despite assurances by the Luftwaffe that German forces would have adequate air support, the Allied aircraft quickly achieved complete control of the airspace. The Luftwaffe reported that its fighters were engaged by Allied aircraft from the moment they took off and were unable even to reach the battlefield. In the open ground east of Morton, the German Panzers became exposed targets especially for the rocket-firing Hawker Typhoon fighter bombers. Meanwhile, General Bradley had sent two armored combat groups against the German southern flank. On the 8th of August, one of these was attacking the rear of the two SS Panzer divisions. Although fighting would continue around the city for several more days, there was no further prospects for any German success. The Germans issued orders to go on the defensive along the entire front, but poorly communicated orders resulted in this being impossible to achieve, with some German forces retreating and others preparing to hold their ground. By the 13th of August, the offensive had fully halted with German forces being driven out of Morton. The Germans had lost 120 tanks and assault guns to the Allied counterattacks and airstrikes, more than two-thirds of their committed total. Thanks for watching. 
please subscribe and support my channel on PayPal. Details in the description box.